and Macaroon Hair Mother and today I'm going to be doing, not a tutorial today, I'm going to be doing kind of a hair talk so I'm going to be going through my hair care routine so yeah my hair care routine and at the end I'll also be showing some other products that I like using um, not really to do with washing so just other stuff that um, I like so that's basically what I'm going to be doing today. That's my actual hair care routine I just wanted to give a little bit um, of background information about my hair um, so my hair is normal it's not damaged or anything it's kind of just below my shoulders well a little bit below my shoulders and it's super thick so yeah super thick I actually just straightened it earlier so that you could see the actual length and it's not going to go all wavy like it normally does if I don't straighten it so yeah that's basically a little bit of background information on my hair um, I am actually growing it, I'm trying to grow it to about here, um, so I can do more styles on it, and if you are growing your hair then you want to have it regularly trimmed, so then, um, just so it gets the split ends out, it's like taking two steps forward and one step back, like you will eventually get there, but if you don't um, cut off the ends it will just be like, in, like taking two steps forward so then it's grown loads and then it's got all split ends and then it'll help, you'll be taking two steps back so you just back, end up back where you started so um, yeah that's basically a little bit of background information now I'm going to go on to my main hair care routine so um, hair washing wise I try to wash my hair about twice a week but really just any time I need it I feel like it's a little bit greasy and it needs washing but if I really like can't be bothered to wash my hair or I literally don't have time then I put on this Batiste dry shampoo and this is the pretty and opulent I don't even know how to say that I don't even know what it means either and oriental looks like this and it comes in loads of different fragrances and this is just a really good dry shampoo to give it a bit of lift and it doesn't look like all greasy and gross so yeah this is Batiste and yeah it's just a nice dry shampoo okay so yes um but if I do wash my hair then what I do, I just go in the shower, I rinse it so it's really wet and once I'm sure that it's really wet and, and there's no dry patches I massage in, massage, <laughs> massage in my um, shampoo and this is the um, Herbal Essences Dazzling Shine Shine Reflecting Shampoo and this is the citrus one and it's for normal hair as well because my hair is normal so yeah this one's for normal hair and um, and then when I massage this in I just rinse it out thoroughly um, and when I do have it in I like really press down and get it in the roots to get rid of any grease and dirt and when I've rinsed that out I put on the matching conditioner so it's just the dazzling shine but this one's the conditioner it's exactly the same, it's just different. It's exactly the same, it's just the matching conditioner. And then what? how I do this is I bring it all over to one side, then I twist it in like this, and then I bring it over to the other side and gently twist it in like that. And then if I have any excess on my hands, I just rub it down the rest of the hair, just if there are any excess. And then I leave that in for about one to two minutes to do its job and then I rinse that out as well. So that is my um, hair washing wise routine, I guess. And when, and then I'm going to say about hair drying kind of now. So if I don't have much time, I'm washing my hair quite late and I don't really have time to let it air dry because obviously letting it air dry is better for your hair than blow drying it. But if I do blow dry it, then I brush it out with my tangle teaser. You all know about this and how much I love it. But yeah, I brush it out with my tangle teaser. Oh, and also I forgot to say, when I was hair washing, when I'm doing my hair washing, when my conditioner is in, I take my shower comb and this one is just from Super Jug and it's handy because it has a little hook so you can hook it on the shower thing, like hook thing. Um, and then I comb through my hair when my conditioner is in to make sure it's like really unknotty and it makes your hair really soft. I forgot to say that before but yeah I like this, I really like this shower comb as well. 
Um, so yeah, back to hair drying. Once I've brushed it out with my tangle teaser, I take my, you've heard about this before, it's really good, the Garnier Ultimate Blends, the Marvis Glow Oil with Argan and Camellia Oils for normal hair. There's also a version for damaged hair, if you have damaged hair then that's the coconut one I think. But any Argan Oil would be fine, this is the Garnier one. I've heard that the one from Avon is good and also there are some in Body Shop. But yeah, I put this, a little pump into my hands, then I just rub it like this and do the same that I did with the conditioner. So I bring it over to one side, then twist, bring it over to the other, then twist, and any excess goes on the rest of the hair. And this is also a little bit of a heat protectant, so that's good when you're blow drying, then it gives an extra added heat protectant, which is a bonus. Um, so yeah, I really like this, so any argan oil would be great because it especially as I said I'm growing my hair so it helps with split ends I'm glad, I feel like I'm talking so quickly right now but I have quite a lot to get through so I am trying to get through this quickly but yeah I'm talking really quick I actually have I think I'm getting a cold or I've already got a cold and my throat really hurts right now I'm still talking really quick breathe I need to breathe so okay now then I blow dry my hair and when I blow dry my hair I don't really have a massive system I just I don't section it into sections or anything I literally just um blow dry it like that until it's all dry I never really have a system really it doesn't really make a difference um so let's look at my notes <laughs> hmm Okay, so that is basically the washing and drying hair care routine. So that's basically my hair care routine. Now I'm just going to mention a few other products that I like to use as well. So these are just other products that I like to use in my hair that are good for your hair. So the first one is this VO5 Smoothly Does It Tame and Shine Spray. And it's ultra glossy and silky finish, and it's also a heat defense, like the argan oil as well, which has a little bit. So it looks like this, and it's really good. It's kind of a hairspray, but it doesn't make the hair all crinkly and everything. And I use this when I've done a hairstyle, and I want it to just kind of set in place. So I just spray this around, closing my eyes, obviously, and it just holds it in place, and it um, gives a nice shine to it. And yeah, it comes in a, like a nice bottle. It's not a really big one, kind of. You can see the comparison between the dry shampoo one and this finishing spray. It's a big difference. But yeah, I really like this. Another thing that I've been liking is this L'Oreal Kids Sweet Pear Tangle Tamer for wet and dry hair. It says no tears, no knots for quick detangling. And I'm just gonna spray some in now, thank you. I don't know whether I just like this for its smell or because it actually is a really good detangler. But I think it's both because it smells so good. Literally, it says sweet pet. It smells so nice, literally. Oh my god, literally, this is so nice. And if you just spray it into your hair, then brush it out with a brush, then you can get rid of any knots. And this actually works. It's not just some rubbish gimmick. It does actually work. So it looks like this, and it's not too expensive either as well um, and I've tried other detanglers but I find that this one is the best it just works so well on getting knots out so yeah it looks like this and you can use it on wet and dry hair which is handy so I think this is the last thing yeah this is the last thing in this video because I didn't want it to be too long because I was scared that like, you guys would get bored of me just sitting here and talking about stuff so but the last thing is this comb Okay, and this comb is from Primark, that's my name on, um, it's from Primark and if I found that if you have the Tangle Tamer, you spray that in your hair and then you get this brush, it just really helps to comb out knots. And it's kind of ironic because if you back comb your hair like 
no back combing and then you want to get it out because it's like some matted mess in your hair and then spray some of this on and then brush out this and it's kind of ironic because you use this to make the knots and you're using this to take them out um but yeah i just love this and it's also really good for smoothing and like i said getting knots out um and this one is from primark let's see if it has any other name on no it's literally just pink Ooh, it says opia on it really faintly it's probably worn off can you guys see that just in the dark pink there it says like opia but this is from primark and primark actually have a really good range of um hair stuff really cheap and actually quite good quality so yeah i really like this you can get it from other places like this is called a teasing comb um but it's just more expensive so that is everything that i'm mentioning in this video so i hope you enjoyed this it wasn't a tutorial it was just kind of a general video on hair care and don't forget to thumbs up and to subscribe and comment any requests or just comment anything you want <laughs> i don't really mind um and follow me on instagram at hair with martha and i will see you next week bye